everybody, I'm Tyler Florence, and you're watching In the Kitch with Mom Cuisine. everyone, Johanna Mama Cuisine here. I am behind the scenes. You guys will never guess who I'm with. I have been watching him for years. You have been watching him for years on the Food Network. I am here with... Hi, everybody. Chef Tyler Florence, <laughs> everybody. Look at that. I'm bringing you in, in the inside. Nobody gets in here but me. Look at this. How you doing? You're How are coming you? to Chicago. So excited to be here with you. So, we know you about the food, the restaurant, celebrity, mm -hmm. TV chef. But we're here for something so special that you've done that you really just took and, and you flipped it pretty fast, actually. Yeah, I, I directed a movie. It's my mm -hmm. first film. It's called Uncrushable. And it's a documentary on the 2017 Wine Country mm -hmm. Fires uh, that, uh, that really just decimated um, quite a large part of uh, Sonoma uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, bits of Napa and also Mendocino County. And it, it, was, it was the largest wildfire in the state of California mm -hmm. at that time. And uh, 44 people died mm -hmm. and uh, uh, 250,000 acres were burned to the ground mm -hmm. and 9,000 bu businesses and homes were burned as well. And it was a really incredibly difficult time for Northern California and for the wine industry. Yes. Uh, there was a lot of uncertainty as mm -hmm. far as like, you know, the wine, uh, the agricultural product itself, mm -hmm. um, but it turned out to be fine. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a very, very difficult time and, and we, we captured it and created, I think, um, I think the, the most important piece of work I've ever made. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think it's the most important thing I've ever done. And it, it's a really, really beautiful film. It runs about 75 minutes. And uh, it's a story of a community coming together in the face of adversity mm -hmm. and showing the world that love conquers all. Wow. The nicest thing I've ever done and uh, I thrilled to be here in Chicago. Uh, I love it. I think Chicago is just the most beautiful city in America. I, I really love do. it. It's a great city, amazing restaurants here. Oh, you have a lot of friends here. I'm sure you're going to have to visit. Like I do. all these I great could, restaurants. Yeah, I, give I, them I, shout outs. I have, I, 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 have, I have a lot. Of, I'm not, I'm not going to call anybody. <laughs> I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends in Chicago. Yes. And it, it's a great city. I love coming here. And, uh, and it, it's amazing to always kind of come back. Um, uh, um, it's, a, it's a quick little turnaround, but um, we just wrapped uh, yeah. with a great food truck race yes. in New England. Yes. We're here for two nights, and then I'm traveling to Southern California and flying to Los Angeles mm -hmm. tomorrow because we're going to be in the St. Louis Obispo Film Festival, oh, nice. uh, which is just, uh, just around Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. a really pretty part of the country. Slow. And yeah, and then and then uh, we're at the uh, uh, Sonoma International Film Festival too. So we got two film festivals back. Here. So not not food festivals anymore. <laughs> now you're hitting up film festivals. Yeah, now. I mean, look now, at you. <laughs> so so we, we just we just screened the movie at the uh, South Beach Food and Wine, Wine Festival, which just happened. Yeah. Just happened. So the the movie is kind of my new demo. Right. Right. <laughs> right. So it's no a, more cooking demos. You <laughs> graduated for, for a while. I mean, because to me, I, I'd rather. I mean. You know, I, honestly, like to watch me like cook another lamb chop. I mean, okay, I've seen it. Um, but uh, to see, I, I think uh, this other side of me, which is uh, which is a storyteller yes. uh, and, and now a filmmaker right. and award-winning filmmaker at wow. that. We just we just won an award for the film, so wow. uh, I'm I'm just super proud of it. And you know, and and life is interesting. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, I I think we, we all. If we're open to the process, yes. we will live lives. Oh my God, right? that's amazing. We'll do so a true. lot of things. We'll have so a lot true. of careers, yes. right? And uh, you know, I'm a restaurant owner. We're opening up another restaurant in San Francisco too, so that's just still a big part of my life. But I think movies are going to be my new thing. Oh, I, 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 I love like that. that. And that reminds me a lot about food and the process of cooking. The, your style always evolves, yeah. right? Like yeah. your palate, even as an adult, it evolves because you get to try so many different things and in your career even the style of restaurants yep. maybe even has evolved so filmmaking maybe that's why it's so natural to you it was it was a really uh, interesting muscle to flex yeah. to be able to just start making a movie right because right? it's my 23rd year on television right. with Food Network right. and, and uh, we've shot I mean you know thousands of programs right. and, and so to be able to kind of do that on a, on a bigger scale right. uh, with a bigger team right. and and to you know tell a really beautiful human interest story. Right. It, it was uh, it was it was a process that felt remarkably comfortable, right? right? I mean, it was a lot of work, right. but uh, you know, there's there's nothing that, <laughs> there's nothing that I do that's not hard, and and the good stuff always is. So yeah. um, I'm very very proud of the movie. I'm so glad you're here tonight. Oh, I'm so Thank happy. I'm so yeah. happy to be here. Yeah. I have a quick question that I ask everyone that comes on the show. Yeah. Five staple ingredients that you cannot live without in your everyday normal Tyler Florence kitchen at home. 
Well, this is gonna this is probably gonna be a little boring. I mean, so so salt for sure, duh, boring, right? And then gallons and gallons of olive oil. I, I can't like it, it is it's it's insulting how much I, I don't know. I, I like it. It's, it's all it, I use a lot of olive oil. I mean, honestly, I'll burn through a bottle making dinner. I just right. will. You need like a. a <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm like, I'm Syrian olive oil, I'm fishing right, olive oil, it's like sure. drizzling with olive oil. It's like I think olive oil is just is just so incredibly key. Um, and then uh, I grow, I, I have a, I have seven acres in Northern California, so we have we have goats and chickens and bees and all kinds oh of fun God. stuff. So we have um, uh, we have a big garden, yeah. right? So I think fresh herbs are really important. They always make a really good dish. And then and then and then uh, is it, what is that four? Is that That's four. It's four. four. Salt, yeah. olive oil, fresh herbs. Fresh herbs. Yeah. Uh, you have two more. Two uh, more. Two, two more. Um, things that I, I can't really live live without. I think um, chilies. I fucking chilies. love chilies. I really really love. I love chilies. Like I what love, kind? What kind? Well, I mean, so I love. Anything, I right? love chili oil. I love Fresno chilies. Fresno chilies are probably my favorite. Thai bird chilies are really really special. Oh, Thai, yes. Uh, and and so we we grow we grow a ton of chilies in my garden. I just I would love. Mm -hmm. Love spicy mm -hmm. food, man. Mm -hmm. I love spicy food. <laughs> I love last, it. Last, last one. Blazing hot. The hotter, the better. Freaking See, look at crazy that. Crazy hot food. I'm all about it, right? And uh, and then I I, I think. Um, the other ingredient would probably have to be like really great like citrus. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about like if you gotta get very simple or right. simplistic with right. it, I think you gotta have some acid balance, Correct. right? So I think I think limes and lemons I think are really important. I always have a big bowl of lemons when we cook, just kind of finish both savory and sweet dishes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little, little bit of lemon juice kind of goes a long way to brighten up the flavors and, and even unlock flavors, yes. right? So if you can kind of play around with sugar and salt and acid, you'll create like dimensions of flavors that you didn't even know possible. You guys, in the kitchen with Mama Cuisine, Chef Tyler Florence, the five ingredients you need to do in your home so you can get in the kitchen every day. All you need is kitsch. a couple lemons, get in the kitsch. some lemon. Just do it. That's it. Get in the kitchen. Get in the kitchen. Go. Go get in the kitchen. Do something. Do something. Oh, yeah. Put your phone down. Go cook something. Go cook something. Put your phone down. Go cook something. Get in the kitchen. I love it. We're going to go watch the movie in just yeah. a little bit. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, guys. Everybody, I'm Tyler Florence, and you're watching In the Kitsch with Mama Cuisine.